Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little sweater for babies between six and nine months old. It's very easy to make. Also stay tuned, in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the matching little pants. Now, this little sweater that we're going to make in this tutorial is for babies between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger from three to six months and up to 12 to 18 months, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well okay let's get started but first don't forget all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish also don't forget to subscribe share my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching okay to make this little sweater I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn you can also use any number three yarn or a ply. Now, to begin, I have a total of 51 chains. This chain here is measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. Now, to begin on the fifth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now, this here is going to be the first corner, so I'm going to put a stitch marker right there. This is going to mark the first corner. Now, what I'm going to do next is a total of 11 double crochets. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. And I'm going to continue like this until I have 11 double crochets. So that's two. Eleven. Now into the next chain, I'm going to make my second corner, so make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Before you continue, place a stitch marker here to mark the second corner. Now for the back side, I'm going to make a total of 21 double crochets, so beginning into the next chain, make a double crochet, and continue like this until you have 21 double crochets for the back side. So continue and I'll meet you back to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 11 double crochets. Now into the next chain here, we're going to make the third corner. So make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Put a stitch marker here to mark the third corner. And now we're going to continue and make 11 double crochets. So into the next chain, make a double crochet and continue until you have 11 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I still have one last chain into this last chain here. We're going to make our fourth corner. So make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And here's the first row. We're going to put a stitch marker to mark the fourth corner. Now, at the end of this first row, you should have a total of 51 double crochets, including the chains here at the beginning. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now, from here on, these two chains never count as a stitch. They're just there so that when we finish the yoke, there's a nice straight line here. Now, to begin the second row, on top of the first double crochet, we always make two double crochets. And at the end, we're also going to finish with two double crochets into the last stitch. Now, we have the corner here, so remove the stitch marker, and inside this chain one space, I'm going to make a V stitch. You're going to do exactly the same thing inside each one of the corners. Now, return your stitch marker. Don't forget to mark your corners. Now, I'm going to continue and do one double crochet on top of each one of these double crochets until I come to the second corner. I'm going to show you there what you're going to do for the rest of this row. So 
13. Now here's the second corner. Remove your stitch marker and inside this chain one space, you're going to make your V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Make sure you return your stitch marker to mark the corner. And now you're just going to continue along and work one double crochet on top of each one of these double crochets until you come to the third corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing I just did here. You're going to make a V-stitch, then continue, make double crochets, and I'm going to meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. I did my last double crochet on top of this last double crochet. Now I have these four chains, so into this chain space here, I'm going to make my fourth corner. So make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we're going to remove this here and put it here inside this corner. And now to finish here, I'm going to go into the third chain right here and make two double crochets here at the end. One and two. Remember that we always start with two double crochets on top of the first stitch and then we always finish with two double crochets on top of the last stitch. Now, if you count each one of these double crochets, you should have 61 double crochets. From here on, for each row, we're going to increase 10 double crochets. Now, for the third row, chain two, turn here, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make two double crochets. Now make one double crochet and then into the next two double crochets. And now I have my corner, remove the stitch marker and make a V stitch. And that's all we're going to do for each one of the corners. Now return your stitch marker to mark the first corner. And now I'm going to continue and make one double crochet for each one of these double crochets until I come to the second corner where I'm going to show you again what you need to do. Let's see, that's three. Fourteen and fifteen. Here's my second corner. Remove the stitch marker and inside this chain one space make a V stitch. And that's all you're going to do for each one of the remaining corners. Make sure you return your stitch marker to mark each corner and then just continue and work these double crochets until you come to the third corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing I did here. Now continue, finish this third row, and I'll meet you at the end here. I'm here at the end of this third row. I just did my fourth corner here. I have three double crochets left. So into the next two, I'm going to make a double crochet. And here at the end, I'm going to make two double crochets into the last double crochet. And this is how I finished the third row with a total of 71 double crochets. Now from here on, you're going to continue on your own and all you're going to do is exactly the same thing I just did here on this last row. The important thing here is that you always start with two double crochets on top of the first double crochet and then finish with two double crochets on top of the last double crochet. And then of course, for each corner, you just do a V-stitch. Now, just to start you off here for the fourth row, you're going to chain two and turn. So here for the fourth row, remember I said, you always begin with two double crochets on top of the first double crochet, and then you continue and work one double crochet on each one of the double crochets until you come to the first corner. So here's the first corner, remove this stitch marker and inside this corner here, you're going to work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And you're going to do exactly the same thing for each corner. Now you're just going to continue and finish this 
fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 81 double crochets and then continue and repeat the same thing. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the rest, but continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making my yoke. Now I did a total of 11 rows and I have a total of 151 double crochets at the end of this 11th row. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work here on the collar before we continue and do the rest of the sweater. So let me tell you how many stitches are for each section. So for each one of the front panels, I have 21 and 21. For each one of the sleeves, I have 33 and 33 and for the back side I have 43 double crochets so that's a total of 151 double crochets now we're going to continue I cut my yarn here at the end I did my last double crochet cut my yarn passed my yarn through that last loop now make sure that you're on the same side that I am this is the piece of yarn that was left when I did the chain so make sure that you are on the same side that I am from here on this is going to be the right side now here what we're going to do is I'm going to go on top of the double crochet, which is the last one that I did. I'm going to grab a loop here in this white yarn. I'm going to chain one and right into this same stitch here on the side right here. Insert your hook again and make a single crochet. Now in the space here of this same double crochet, make two single crochets. Now here I have three single crochets. Into the next row, I'm going to make one. And into the next row, I'm going to make two single crochets. Into the next row, one. And into the next two. This is how I'm going to continue until I come here to the top. I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these single crochets for this front panel. I have 18 single crochets up to this last row of double crochets. Now we have the chains here uh, for the neckline. So on top of this first chain here, I'm going to make a single crochet and then into each one of these remaining chains, I'm going to also make a single crochet just like this. So continue. Here along the neckline I'm going to meet you right here this is the fourth corner to show you how we're going to work this other side I'm here at this other side of the neckline now we have this next front panel so right here into this row of double crochets I'm going to make two single crochets then the next row is a row of double crochets here so make two single crochets there then one because we have a chain two space there then two then one, then two, and so on until we finish here. I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row of single crochets. From here up to here, I have 17. I need to make one more, so I'm just going to go on top of this double crochet and make a single crochet. Now I have 18 single crochets from here up to here. So I have the same number of single crochets that I did here on this other side. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to chain one and turn. In this row, I'm going to work front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning on top of the first single crochet here, right on top, make a half double crochet. Now into the next single crochet right here, make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet then back post half double crochet and so on this is how i'm going to continue all around until i come here to this other side i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row here at the end to finish this row I just did a half double crochet on top of the last single crochet now for the third row chain one and turn so here for this third row I'm going to do the same thing so on top of this first half double crochet make a half double crochet and then I'm going to do the exact same thing this next stitch is a front post so I'm going to make a front post half double crochet next one back post 
next one front post and so on i'm just going to continue like this all the way to the end Now, one thing here before we continue, if you notice as this part here is starting to shrink a bit, the stitches here, then go ahead and use a slightly bigger hook, maybe a four millimeter hook if you notice that. For me, it looks pretty good. It's nice and flat, so I'm just going to continue with this same hook. So now continue, finish the second row, continue watching to see if I'm going to do two or three rows here, front post and back post half double crochets. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the neckline. I only did two rows here, a front post and back post half double crochets. So here at the end, I did my last half double crochet on top of the last one, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. Make sure that when you cut your yarn, leave a, a nice long tail, about that much, because when we finish this part, what we're going to do is we're going to seam or add a couple stitches here to secure this side here along this side. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to divide the sleeves. So as I mentioned, for each one of the front panels, I have 21 and 21. For each one of the sleeves, I have 33 and 33 double crochets. And then for the back side, I have, I have 43 double crochets. So now we're going to turn this like this and we're going to go here to the left side. This here is the right side. So we're going to go here to the left side before we do this i i need you to make two chains okay so just make two chains one and two and we're going to do this because i want to make sure that from here on i finish each row right here under the sleeve so make sure you do your two chains we're going to skip this first corner we're going to skip these 33 double crochets and we're going to go right here into the second corner now do a yarn over and insert your hook i'm going to remove this stitch marker so that it's not on the way insert your hook right here inside this second corner grab a loop and make a double crochet there perfect now into this same space here make another double crochet so into this second corner, I have two double crochets and then the two chains that I did. Now I'm going to continue for the back side and make one double crochet on each one of these 43 double crochets until I come here to the next corner. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide this sleeve. I finished making these double crochets for the back side. I have a total of 45 uh, double crochets here plus the two chains that we did here. Now inside this next corner, this is corner number three, I'm going to make two double crochets so that now for the back side I have 47 double crochets in total. Now to divide the sleeve I'm going to chain four. I'm going to skip these 33 double crochets for the sleeve and into this last corner right here I'm going to make two double crochets and then I'm going to continue for this front panel so continue and I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work the center part of the sweater I finished making these double crochets for this front panel counting these two that i did in this corner i have 22 double crochets i need to make one more for this front panel because i want to make sure that i finish with 23 for each one of the front panels so to do this last one what i'm going to do here is i'm going to overlap the this other side here like this and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go through this row of single crochets on this front panel. So right there and then go through the last double crochet right there on this front panel. So grab a loop and make a double crochet. Now we're going to do the same thing with the next three double crochets for this front panel. So yarn over, insert your hook on top of the first double crochet here for this front panel and then through the first row here in the back in white, that's the row single crochets, make a double crochet. 
yarn over into the next double crochet and the next row this next row here was a row of half double crochets make a double crochet yarn over and into the next double crochet here on this side and into this last row here make a double crochet and now all we do is just continue along this front panel and make one double crochet until we come to the next corner let me show you how it looks this is how it looks once we finish like i said we're going to do a couple stitches here so that this side here is nice and secured and this is what it looks like here on on the center now it may look a little crooked here but don't worry about it once we do more rows this is going to even out but uh, it should look okay once it's done so continue finish this front panel and i'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the sleeve i finished making these double crochets for this front panel inside this corner here i also did two double crochets now if i count each one of these double crochets for the front side i have 46 double crochets and then for the back side i have 47 double crochets now to divide this second sleeve and finish the first row i'm going to chain two I'm going to skip these double crochets for the sleeve and then I'm going to go right here right into the first chain remember here at the beginning I had two chains so right into this chain join with a slip stitch and this is how I finished the first row now at the end of this first row where we have divided the sleeves I have 93 double crochets and then we did four chains under each sleeve now for the second row chain two and into this same stitch which is the first chain here make a double crochet into the next chain make a double crochet and then into the next double crochet which is the first one for the back side make a double crochet from here you're just going to work these double crochets for the back side and i will meet you right here under the other sleeve to show you what we need to do next I finished making these double crochets for the back side i'm right here i have these four chains one thing i forgot to mention when i was doing the chains here in the first row you can add more chains here if you feel like the sleeve is too small or if you want to add uh, here to the chest measurement for the size that i'm making this for i think it's perfect the way it is but you can always add more chains to make this part here more loose that would be up to you so here to continue and to each one of these chains i'm going to make one double crochet so that here i have four double crochets that's two three and four now continue along and make these double crochets for the front and i will meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this second row i'm here at the end of this second row i finished making these double crochets for the front and here under the sleeve i had two chains so i did one double crochet on each so now to finish i'm just going to go on top of the first double crochet not the chains and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this second row you should have a total of 101 double crochets not including the two chains here at the beginning from here on i'm going to continue with these 101 double crochets so to start every row you're going to chain two and beginning on top of this first double crochet which is the same where we did the slip stitch make your first double crochet for this third row then continue all around and work one double crochet for each one of these double crochets until you finish when you finish you're going to go here on top of the first double crochet just like i did here to finish join with a slip stitch chain two and then repeat the same thing from here on we're going to continue in the same way i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do here for the bottom of the sweater but continue watching i'll let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do i'll meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making this part from here from the first row where we divided the sleeve up to this last row i have 
18 rows and it's measuring from the top of the neckline down to the end of the last row it's measuring about 33 centimeters which is about 13 inches now what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, I don't know three four rows of front post and back post half double crochet the same way that we did here so to do this we're going to go right here here to finish this last row I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop now insert your hook I'm going to use the same hook the 3.5 millimeter hook and I'm going to use this white yarn now bring a loop through the front chain one and what we're going to do here is we're going to make front post and back post half double crochets so beginning into the first double crochet make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this row now when you finish here what you're going to do is you're going to go on top of the first half double crochet right there join with a slip stitch chain one and then do the same thing front post back post front post back post half double crochets now we're going to do this for a total of about i don't know i think three or four rows continue watching i'll let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i'll meet you at the end of that row okay i did a total of three rows here in this color white this is where we did front post and back post half double crochet so i only did three rows here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop now if you want to make this part here wider you can just continue and add more rows now this is what it looks like so far now what we're going to do next is we're going to add sleeves i already went ahead and did this side you're going to do it exactly in the same way so we're going to go right here this would be the right side so right under the sleeve we have four double crochets so right in the middle I have two double crochets on either side I'm going to insert my hook I'm using the same hook the 3.5 millimeter hook I'm going to grab a loop here bring it through the front chain two and into this same space here make a double crochet now here we have two double crochets right in the middle of these two make a double crochet now in the middle of the next two here right there right into this corner make a double crochet now we have the first double crochet and then we have this double crochet here now i don't want to leave a gap here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to yarn over insert your hook into this space this is the last double crochet we before we divided the sleeve grab a loop take two loops off yarn over go on top of the first double crochet for the sleeve grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close now this stitch here counts as one double crochet so so far i have four now into the next double crochet make a double crochet on top of the next same thing this is all I'm going to do now, just make one double crochet for each one of these double crochets all around. Continue and I'll meet you right here, right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. This is the first row up to here. I have 35 double crochets and I still have one more double crochet left here for the sleeve. Now, what we're going to do next is into this last double crochet, insert your hook, take two loops off yarn over then insert your hook into this space this is the last double crochet where we divided the sleeves take two loops off three loops on the hook close now this stitch counts as one double crochet so that's 36 now i'm going to make two more double crochets so i'm going to do this next one in between the next two double crochets and then in between the next two a double crochet i think that looks pretty good let's see yes there's no gap so now I have 38 double crochets so here to finish I'm just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finish this first row with a total of 38 double crochets now from here on we're going to continue with 38 double crochets so for the second row you're going to chain two and on top of this first double crochet make a double crochet on top of the next a double crochet and so on 
Here we're just going to continue just making double crochets all around the sleeve to continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you once again how to finish each row from here on and how to start each row. I'll meet you at the end of the second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 38 double crochets. Now to finish each row from here on, you're just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now to start each row, you're always going to chain two and beginning on top of the first stitch, which is the same stitch where you do the slip stitch, make your first double crochet, then continue and make double crochets all around. You're always going to have 38 double crochets and we're going to do this for a total of 15 rows, which is the number of rows that I did here for this sleeve. So continue, finish making these 15 rows and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the sleeve. I did a total of 15 rows. So from here up to here, there's 15 rows. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now with the white color, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet. We're going to grab a loop here, chain one. And here what we're going to do is we're going to make front post and back post half double crochets. So beginning into the first double crochet here, make a front post half double crochet. Into the next one, back post half double crochets, front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, and so on. This is all you're going to do all around. Now to finish this row, you're going to go on top of the first half double crochet, make a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. We're going to do front post and back post half double crochets, and we're going to do this for a total of three rows. And this is what it's going to look like once you're done. Now, if you prefer, you can also do three or four rows of just single crochets all around and um, that would be another option. So continue, finish making the cuff, and then I'll come back and show you the finished sleeve. Okay, I finished making the cuff. I did a total of three rows. Here at the end, all I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop, and the sleeve is all done. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing as I did here on this other side. It, it's done exactly in the same way. Now if you want to make the sleeve a bit longer, I'll give you the measurements in a little bit. You can, especially if you want to make it where the baby can wear it longer, you can always just fold here the cuff. That would be up to you. Now let me give you the finished measurement so from the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 32 centimeters which is about 12.25 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 16 centimeters which is about 6.25 inches now i forgot to measure the the width of the sleeve here it's measuring about let's see 3.5 inches which is about nine centimeters from the top of the neckline down to the bottom here, it's measuring about 35.5 centimeters, which is about 14 inches. And the chest here, just the top, it's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little pullover sweater is for baby boys and girls. If you like to make it for little girls, you can, uh, between six and nine months old. Now you can always make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. I'd say from three to six months and up to 12 to 18 months old. Now comment below, let me know if you'd like me to make uh, the matching baby pants. I already have lots of baby booty tutorials in this same size and baby hats. Just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my channel and then just click the video tab and scroll down to find them. So this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support always. Until next time.